Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are going to continue where we left off yesterday. We are still on the Highway 2000. The PJ Patterson leg of Highway 2000. We are heading back to the country. Sit back, relax and drive with me. Hello. I am the mother of Kevin Richards. He is a student at the Manning's High School in Westmoreland. He recently went to the river and he had an accident where he fell and he broke his neck. He has damaged his C4 and his C5. They did a surgery and the doctors say, are saying that the surgery was successful. So basically they're saying that what is left, what is left to do is, is really left up in the hands of God. However, apart from having that to deal with, he now has Corona. And on top of Corona, I went to the hospital again, and now they're saying that he has pneumonia. He is having breathing problem, challenges to breathe, and he needs prayer because I believe that through prayer he will be healed and he will breathe normal again and he will walk again. So I'm just asking for prayer from all walks of life. You, may, you don't have to know him to pray for him. I mean, he may be a stranger to you, but just to share little love and just pray for him for me. I'm asking the churches to pray for him, the pastors, students, my friends, my family, his friends, his family. And let's just see what the miracle of God can do. So, that was the mother of young Kavian Richards. Kavian, he was from Grange Hill in the parish of Westmoreland. And like his mother said, he was a student at Manning's High School. Kavian and some friends, they went to the river earlier this year. Whilst at the river, young Kavian, he slipped fell and hit his head he was rushed to the savlamar hospital and later transferred to a facility in kingston he could not move because like she said he had injured his c5 and his c4 it's sad to say but Kavian, he passed away yesterday morning sunday the first of august 2021 may kavian's soul rest in peace and condolences to his parents and loved ones we are told that kavian is the only child for his mother we are not sure if his father is the father of any other children but this must be a very sad moment for this family. Again, condolences to his family. So today, Monday, the 2nd of August, 2021, is being celebrated as Emancipation Day in Jamaica. And the question still is, are we truly emancipated in this one video we are gonna carry four stories all four stories has something to do with a man being taken out well three of the stories the men were taken out another one is still to be determined the police is carrying out investigations so if you are tired of hearing these sad stories 
let me warn you from now. If you are tired of hearing those stories, stop the video and watch something else. But don't watch it. And when you're done, you cuss me. Because it's not I who is taking out the persons. I am just bringing the reality to you. I am bringing the facts to you. So in the first story, on Wednesday, the 28th of July, 2021, family members and relatives of a man named Mr. Paul Brown, age 54 years old. He lived at a place named Mount Carey in the parish of St. James. They went to the Anchovy police station and reported that Mr. Brown, he was not seen for a day or two. They reported that he was missing. As a result, the Anchovy police, they took the information. Wednesday pass, nothing was heard of Mr. Brown. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, nothing was heard of or from Mr. Brown. During this time, his family members were frantically searching for him. But on Sunday, the 1st of August 2021, Emancipation Day, the family, they were still searching for him. So they went to an orange farm. Now this orange farm, it is located along the Mount Pella Main Road in the parish of St. James, where they discovered the body of their relative, Mr. Paul Brown. His body was found in a decomposed state. The anchovy police were called in and they began investigation. Our information is that the scene was processed and Mr. Brown, he was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was officially pronounced DEAD. A postmortem will be done on the body of Mr. Brown to determine whether his death was of a natural or unnatural cause. If there is anything else to this story, we will be updating you. Now, in the next story, we brought you a story yesterday. It was about a man that was attacked at Chateau Road at George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, there has been some new developments. As a result, we have gathered some information because we wanted to know who this man was. We hadn't given you his name in the story yesterday because when we were recording that video, he was still alive. So we are going to go back over the story because the gentleman, he has passed since we had recorded the video. The man you are seeing on your screen, his name is Mr. Patrick Watt. W A T T. He was popularly called Babe. He was 55 years old and he lived in a little corner on Jane Marks Road named Breadfruit Tree. Now, Jane Marks Road is at George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland. Babe, our information is that he was a hustler. He used to sell weed at his home and Sometimes he would go to Three Miles River where he sell his little weed. We are also told that he was a supplier of the white lady. Yes, that white substance. So he would be selling both the white lady and the weed at his home and on a daily basis he would ride his bicycle to Three Miles River to juggle his stuffs. Babe, he was a gambler. He loved buying cash pot. No draw cannot draw in cash pot where babe do not have a hand in it. On Thursday, the 29th of July, 2021, we are told that babe, from early in the morning, he made some good money off cash pot because when he was buying cash pot, he spent a lot of money on it. So early in the morning, Thursday, the 29th of July, he made some good money off cash pot. In the afternoon, Babe, he ride his bicycle and went home to Jade Marks Road. 
About 7 p.m., Babe left his home. He did not cook. So there is an establishment at Three Miles River where they sell chicken and chips. So Babe got up and left to Three Miles River to buy some chicken and chips. The money that he won during the day, Babe had that money on him. We are told that it was thousands of dollars. So Babe, he went to Three Miles River buy his chicken and chips and ate it he left three miles river about some minutes to 9 pm whilst he was heading home he was attacked and shot it is suspected that someone who knew that babe had the money on him may have trailed him shot him and robbed him because we are told that when babe was found his pockets were turned out. Babe, he was shot on the left side of his forehead and under his left eye. A passerby was passing and saw Babe lying in the road. As a result, the passerby called the police. By the time the police reached at the location, citizens had assisted Babe to the Savlamar Hospital. Babe, he was later transferred to a medical facility in Kingston. Like we reported in the video yesterday, he was very serious. He had a 50-50 chance. On Saturday, the 31st of July, 2021, sometime in the afternoon, our information is that Babe, he succumbed to his injuries whilst being treated in Kingston. So, Babe, he was robbed and he was shot for a few thousand dollars the mayhem the mayhem now in the next story this one it took place at a place named cash hill in the parish of hanover it took place on sunday the first of august 2021 sometime after 2 a.m we are told that a man his name is mr stevan Atti. he's popularly known as gossy are big john he is 32 years old and he was an electrician he lived at cash hill in the parish of hanover now gussie he was at a party being held at his baby mother's house at minutes after 2 a.m it is said that gussie he left to go to his house whilst he was walking along the roadway our information is that one loud explosion was heard by persons who were at the party. When they went and made checks, they saw Gussie lying along the roadway with what appears to be a wound to his head. The police were called in and on their arrival, Gussie, he was seen lying on his back in a pool of red substance. Gussie, he had what appeared to be a gunshot wound to his head. He was taken to the Noel Holmes Hospital where Gussie, he was pronounced D-E-A-D -E when this crime scene was processed. Our information is that one 9mm pen shell was recovered from the scene. So one bullet was fired and that bullet connected Gussie's head. And that one bullet was a fatal bullet. So the Lucy police, they are carrying out investigation. Now, if you have not yet hit on the like button, remember to hit on it. If you are here, you are watching the videos, and you have not yet subscribed, we are heading to 24,000 subscribers. Be a part of that 24,000 subscribers. Remember, you know, you are not liking the stories we are bringing. You are liking the fact that we are bringing the stories to you. Stories that you will not hear on any tv station or any radio station if you even hear them you're not gonna hear them the way we are presenting them to you that is a fact that you must admit now in the final story for today this one from the other day we have been telling you about aldir and a place named bath those two areas in the past were law-abiding areas for the past 
two to three years it is said that some importees are in the areas especially at Aldir and they are helping to create havoc in Aldir this incident it happened Saturday night the 31st of July 2021 about 9 p.m. it happened at a guest house at Aldir this guest house is a popular guest house at Aldir our information is that a man you're seeing him on your screen his name is Mr. Tyrone James he's popularly known as Zidane from you hear that name you don't have to ask Zidane he loved football we are told that Chelsea was his favorite football club Zidane he was 40 years old and he lived at 105 Darling Street Savlamar in the parish of Westmoreland now 105 Darling Street is known as Harmony Town so our information is that there was a party being held at the guest house Zidane he was a patron at the party he was about to leave the party so he walked towards his motor vehicle as he was about to enter the vehicle he was pounced upon by a lone gunman this man he opened fire at Zidane he was hit to the left side of his face his abdomen and his neck the hoodlum then made good his escape in Aldir family members who were at this party they realized what was happening and they rushed Zidane to the Savlamar hospital but by this time it was too late Zidane he was pronounced D.E.A.D. on arrival at the hospital when this crime scene was processed our information is that three 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene we are not yet getting any information as to why Zidane was targeted or who may have targeted him but you can just imagine how that hoodlum knew that Zidane was in the party and was out there waiting for him to come out to take him out the mayhem continues blessed love everybody <laughs>